The Western Cape has bagged another culinary award, and this time the farm-to-table restaurant Good Together has been rated South Africa's best diner-rated restaurant. The competition saw more than 290,000 diners take part over a year. So what exactly does it take to make it to the top? To find out more, we joined by Paige Herrera, the Dine Plates Growth Marketing Manager. Good afternoon to you, Paige, and thanks so much for joining us. I was just saying off-air to colleagues that, uh, you know, when you talk about uh, the culinary experience and gastronomical um, or plating, you know, being creative around food has evolved so much that you can't just be plain about it anymore. You actually have to apply your mind and skill. Talk us through the awards. Sure. Uh, thanks so much for having me on your show today, Cindy. So the awards, uh, just to give you a bit of a background, Dine Plan is a restaurant reservation platform that helps restaurants across South Africa and the world manage their reservations, deposits and guest databases. And part of that is guest reviews. So we get, as you re already mentioned, 290,000 reviews submitted just in a 12 month period. So we're sitting on a lot of great data from guests who've actually experienced restaurants firsthand and so we just collate that data into an award platform that shines a light on South Africa's most loved restaurants regardless of their size or style or category and it's important that all reviews are made by diners there's no critics or judges here it's just diners who have visited these restaurants themselves yeah. And it has to be a holistic experience. In other words, from the reception and being seated, being welcomed by the waiter and perhaps even having them explain what's on the menu or what your choice of meal is. Uh, talk us exactly what diners then respond to in terms of the criteria. Yes, you're right. So diners are looking for a great overall experience, and that includes good food, a beautiful setting wherever you are, and excellent service. You were right in mentioning that it's from before they even walk through the door. It's before they, uh, just as they've made their reservation, to after they've been at your restaurant. So yes, a whole, a whole a holistic experience. And, and what options are there in terms of the cuisine? Um, you know, is it largely South African uh, reviews that you've, you've received and largely maybe even uh, outside your formal establishments, maybe townships? How far wide are your, uh, the, um, the focus groups? So we, we uh, use, we, sorry, excuse me. We uh, have restaurants across South Africa and Africa on our platform. These awards purely look at the South African restaurants, regardless of where they're based. So we have restaurants from Cape Town and the Winelands, as well as Joburg, Pretoria, um, Kabeha, uh, you know, the Garden Route, everywhere. Yeah, and and of course the 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 work or job uh, prospects and opportunities in uh, the ecosystem are quite lucrative, uh, but also studying towards a um, a qualification as a chef uh, is is something that over the years um, I think has had much a tremendous support and focus as well with many uh, of our um, uh, chefs being placed in uh, five star hotels or even abroad. Um, uh, Paige, maybe talk us through the opportunities in the ecosystem. So the hospitality industry is a vast one. Um, I myself studied at chef school before I went into marketing. So it just gives you a good idea of, you know, the scope that the hospitality industry caters for. And it's really nice to see that the jobs within the hospitality industry are becoming um, sought after and well respected. It's a difficult industry to work in. The hours are long and grueling and there's a, a lot of demand and there's fierce competition amongst the restaurants in South Africa. But as we become known for as a culinary destination around the world and tourists visit us, the, the hospitality industry is growing and it's great when, you know, young people get into studies that would lead them into a job within the hospitality industry and then stay in South Africa to actually get, you know, get their career started. Yeah, so I'm going to just pose this uh, question from our executive producer, Uba Zukil, and she wants to know, and in fact, it makes sense. Why is it that the focus seems to be more on the Western Cape? Uh, is that where the fine dining experience is more prominent or uh, is your focus group largely re uh, residing there? No, definitely not. We don't focus predominantly on the west, uh, east. Sorry, the Western Cape. We have restaurants across South Africa's provinces. 
We also would love to know the reason why the cave does so well. I can just imagine that the volume of uh, tourists would have an, an impact on this. You know, the Western Cape is a destination in terms of food and culinary experiences. And also when I look at where in the Western Cape is pre performing so well, it's the Winelands. And you can't blame people for rating the Winelands so highly. It's a beautiful experience. So they have the edge there when it comes to nature, that's for sure. Yeah, no, the scenery, as you're saying, picturesque um, scenery as well is what would draw, um, you know, tourists and uh, especially diners. I, I just want to talk about the economy maybe of fine dining. I see that um, many of the restaurants, uh, you know, the experience doesn't necessarily match um, your budget at times, but there are options where you can go for fine dining without breaking the bank. Yes, it's true. Uh, when I look at the top five of our awards, uh, one restaurant is fine dining. The other four are very family style, farm to table eateries. And I think it's important to understand that while fine dining restaurants have are very celebrated and loved. You know, some of us are not able to eat there uh, as often as we'd like. And we, you know, the restaurants that cater to families and, you know, make that guest experience just as good, just in a different way to fine dining, they're also doing very well and are very loved by the South African um, dining scene. Yeah, and good together for those of us that may not have been uh, and are putting that on the bucket list or to-do list. Uh, what is it that set them apart? Yes, I highly recommend you put them on your list. Uh, Jess and Luke are husband and wife team and they're based out in Stellenbosch. And they're so well known for just making you part of their family. They source local ingredients from farmers and suppliers in the area. They grow some of their produce on their farm themselves. And what they do for lunch, and I think they serve dinner sometimes as well as they serve a family style meal. There's not much that you can choose so you don't get a menu. You just sit down and they take great care of you. And we're starting to see that more and more restaurants are adapting this uh, or adopting this uh, social dining element, taking the, the decision making away from the guests and just letting them have a good time altogether. Yeah, and then the other uh, top five or, or top four uh, after Good Together that made it on this uh, coveted award. So after Good Together, we had the Reverie Social Table. They're based in Observatory. Uh, Chef Julia Hatting of the Reverie Social Table actually came number one last year, so she's still in the top five. Followed by Rustin Frieda Estate uh, Restaurant in Stellenbosch. And then the table at Demea, also in Stellenbosch. And then coming in at number five was Stettain Family Vineyards, which is out in Billiersdorf. All right, Paige, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm even salivating just thinking uh, of what to have for lunch, but we really appreciate your time. That's Paige Herrera, the Dine Plans Growth Marketing Manager, talking about the Culinary Award, Good Together, uh, making it to the top of that award category.